We have a lot to get to tonight. Yeah, with that, Charlie DeMar live in Kenosha, where the curfew has been in place for the past three hours. Charlie. Good evening, Brett and Erica. Something different tonight. It is a 7 p.m. curfew opposed to an 8 p.m. curfew. We are now marching with a couple hundred or so uh, protesters through the streets of Kenosha. It has been very peaceful uh, tonight, as you can see. There have been obviously chants uh, for Jacob Blake's name, calling for justice uh, in this investigation. And today we learned much more about this case. Kenosha police officer Rustin Shesky named as the cop who shot Jacob Blake, a seven year veteran of the department. Officer Shesky fired the weapon into Mr. Blake's back. No other officer fired their weapon. Police were called by a woman Sunday saying her boyfriend wasn't supposed to be there. An officer tased Blake, but it wasn't successful. That's when you see Blake walking to the front of the car. Mr. Blake admitted that he had a knife in his possession. Uh, and DCI agents, that's the Division of Criminal Investigation, uh, recovered a knife from the driver's side floorboard of Mr. Blake's vehicle. I ask for as much patience uh, as our times allow. Wisconsin's district attorney will ultimately decide whether or not Chesky committed a crime. The Division of Criminal Investigations has 30 days to hand over its findings. And we have to facilitate a full and complete investigation. We have a community today that is literally uh, on fire. Hey, he just shot them! Hey, dude right here just shot them! That fire continues to rage. Social media videos taken last night in Kenosha show a young man armed with a rifle. Today, police and court records identified him as 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse from Antioch. We aren't showing the most graphic part of the video, but a warning. Rittenhouse was allowed to walk past police and try to escape back over the Illinois border until he was arrested today. What happened yesterday night in Kenosha was despicable. And there you did hear the district attorney asking for patience in this investigation. Again, this has been a very peaceful uh, protest. We've seen no clashes with police, although that 8 p.m. Cur uh, 7 p.m. curfew rather is in effect. Uh, we have not seen police uh, engaging with these protesters as uh, they really have not been causing any issues. Uh, we're going to continue to walk with them. We're headed towards the courthouse where much of uh, those clashes have been uh, throughout this throughout the few days uh, here. But again, this group uh, has been pretty calm, uh, but we will continue. Uh, to walk with them. We are live in Kenosha. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Charlie, thank you. Back in January, Rittenhouse was seen front row at a presidential rally in Des Moines. That's Rittenhouse circled at the bottom left of your screen, according to BuzzFeed. The teen also made a TikTok video from his recent account, Rittenhouse 33. That was the rally at Drake University tonight. A Trump 2020 campaign spokesperson tells BuzzFeed Rittenhouse had nothing to do with the campaign.